Hey there guys, I'm SuperGamer1121, and these are going to be my thoughts on Skyward Sword as a game, as the story, and as the project. As far as the story goes, I absolutely love the story. I'm not going to get too much in depth into it anymore because I already gave my thoughts on what I really thought about the story in the final episode of Skyward Sword as the credits were rolling, but I do love the story, how it's the beginning and marks the beginning of the timeline of the Zelda series. Now, I may have read somewhere that Nintendo said that this may not actually be the first story in the Zelda timeline. We're not really sure right now. The latest game that we've gotten is A Link Between Worlds. I don't know where that stands in the timeline. Also, I haven't played that game, so do not post spoilers anywhere below. Um, hopefully, I'll get that game soon. But I do love the story and how it details a lot of the beginning. And one thing that I did not mention in the credits, and I wish I would have, is the fact that since it's the beginning story, it tells the like the whole origin thing. I love the fact that we get like a story as to why there's so many different links and so many different timelines and three different branches. Um, because after Link finishes off Demise in the final battle, he basically curses himself along with Link and uh, Zelda so that each incarnation of them will forever be bound to this curse of, you know, stuff, which is why there's so many different Ganondorfs, why there's... Uh, I don't know where, like, the whole, like, v other villains of Zelda franchise technically falls in with this, um, but I do like that that's why there's an explanation as to why there's so many different Ganons, Zeldas, and Links, and I absolutely love that. As far as the game itself goes, like I said, I'm not going to get too much in depth about this, because I said that people either hate it or they love it, just because it feels, I don't know, people think that it's not very much of a Zelda game because they hold your hand through too much of it, and I will agree, there are moments where they do hold your hand too much to the extent of telling you what to do and where to go next, but there were moments when I was first playing the, the Skyward Sword by myself, I didn't know what I was supposed to do next, and I did have to look up a, t um, a guide, especially in the temples and the different dungeons. Especially the, ki the, the Sky Keep, that was probably the worst thing ever. You screw that up once, you move, a, you move something over in the wrong position once, and you're screwed for the rest of that dungeon, and it's hard to get back on track. But, if you do screw it up, there's a chance that you will probably get to skip like one or two rooms, which I know I did um, my first playthrough. Now is the project itself, the last thing that I really want to talk about here is, um, clearly I started this project back in November of 2012 as a, you know, one year anniversary that the game had come out in 2011, so I decided a year later that I would do the game. It's always a game that I've been kind of wanting to do, but I knew everybody was, um, already doing it because it's one of those games that was a huge big deal because it was a 25th anniversary Zelda game, uh, it was the, like, actual first Wii Zelda game, minus Twilight Princess, which was more of a launch game, and this one really felt more like a Wii game because of the control schemes. Um, so that's why everybody was kind of doing it in the beginning, and I kind of wanted to hold off on doing it. And then when I started doing it, I didn't anticipate how big of a project it was actually going to be. I thought, honestly, I would be done by, like, January, honestly, in the beginning, like when I started it in November, I thought I was going to be done in January, and I would continue 2013 with a bunch of other projects that I still have in mind to do. Then it just kept going longer and longer and longer and longer, and I'm actually kind of glad that it took so long, because if I had rushed it, I felt like it, the story wouldn't have been there, and the gameplay wouldn't have been there, and it just would have been too fast, too quick, too soon, and it's a story that really needs to be told, and you need to look at each individual uh, little thing going on. All the side quests took a lot of time to do. It wasn't until like two or three episodes before the finale that I finished off all the side quests. So that was a huge long process. And then the dungeons, putting them together was a big process too. How I wanted to divide it, if I wanted to do two or three episodes for the dungeons, or how that was going to work out. Where I wanted to place a lot of those side quests in relationship to the actual game, because I didn't want them 
interrupting the flow of the game and the story. There were moments where it clearly did, where it interrupted and I just did uh, full episodes on side quests. Um, but yeah, and then there was the whole, you know, Lanairu Dragon battle gauntlet thing that I really want to do, and hopefully I will get to do that soon, and maybe I will also get to show off some of the other upgrades as well, or just list them off for you guys. Sorry, I had a little hiccup there. Um, something else that I want to do is I want to put a compilation video of all the goddess cubes and their relative um, treasures and where you can find them all. I don't know if I will be able to do that, and I don't know when I'll be able to actually put out that video. That's something that I've been thinking about doing since I started the project. I just really don't know if I can do that or if I will. Like, I did that for Kirby, Superstar, or All Stars, or something along those lines of whatever it's called. I was just having a conversation with my cousin the other day, and I couldn't remember what it was called. But I remember I did that for all the 60 treasures. That was a lot easier because that was only over the span of, like, five episodes. I have to go back through, like, 94 episodes to find all the goddess cubes and where they're actually at. So I'd probably have to, like, re-watch all of them because I don't have them saved on my computer. Um, so I don't know if I'll actually be able to do that. And that would take a long process ripping the videos off of YouTube for myself so I can edit that all together. Um... But if I do, I will let you guys know on Twitter or Facebook about those two things. Um, but as for the project like as a whole, I think it went fairly good. There were moments where I was clearly frustrated. There was moments where I just threw down the game and said, you know what, I'm going to record this at a different point because it's not really working out right now. So, um, yeah, I think the game still went good overall, of course. I tried to show everything, and obviously I couldn't get all the pieces of hearts or or complete all that, but I did try to at least show where they were. That was something that I just kept saying throughout the whole entire series, that I'll just try to show where the pieces of hearts are located and how you can get them, but I probably won't be able to get them. Anyway, I think that's all I really wanted to say on the project. There was just a couple of last little minute details that I didn't get to squeeze into the project itself or squeeze into the credits because the credits is only so long and I was just happy. Not happy that the game was over, but I was happy that it was ending and I was saying all my thoughts on it so I didn't get all the things that I wanted to get out. I'm probably not even going to get all the things that I wanted to get out here, but... Um, that was pretty much it. Um, I will see you guys back in 2014. I don't really know when. Probably mid to late January, I will start up Super Mario Bros. 3 again. That semi-blind um, playthrough. And then I will see you guys for more projects. Hopefully a lot more different projects in 2014. And probably, I don't want to really say this yet, but I guess I will, is that I am looking into two different types of recording softwares. One that will... Uh, be able to actually see the screen of what is actually happening in the game. I can, but it's just so tiny. So I'm looking at something else that will even probably up the quality a little bit and possibly something that will allow me to record games off my DS so I can start doing DS games and get back to one very, very special game that I've yet to complete. If you've been following me from the very beginning, you know exactly what game I'm talking about. I won't spoil it. But I think for that, I will see you guys in 2014. Have a happy Christmas. Have a happy holidays. Have, have a happy new year. And I will see you guys in 2014. I have one more video that's going to be posted on my main channel for my Monday videos. And then for that, I will see you guys in 2014. So see you next Monday on my main channel and then 2014. I think I've said that like 10 times. But I will see you guys then. Have a happy holidays and happy new year.